This question is about double unit conversions, which we recently did an SAT math lesson on. So you can search our YouTube library for double unit conversions to find out more. That also includes a free worksheet that you can try on your own and watch the video for answers to the questions that you had a hard time on. But let's start here by saying that there are 7.3 meters per second squared. Now, the conversion says one mile is 1,609 meters. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that M to M-E-T because I don't want to confuse meters with miles. Now, the conversion is 1,609 meters is equal to one mile. Now, this entire thing here, that's nothing more than the number one because it's got an equal numerator and denominator. Think of it like the fraction 5 over 5. So in other words, we could have arranged that as 1 mile over 1609 meters or 1609 meters over 1 mile. And we're making the decision of how to put it here because we want the units to cancel. So here we have meters on the top, meters on the bottom, and they cancel. So right now we're doing chemistry style unit conversions. The problem is that we've got miles per second squared. And the question is asking us for miles per minute squared. So let's do another unit conversion. Well, one minute is 60 seconds. So if we have seconds on the bottom, we need seconds on the top. So let's put 60 seconds on the top and one minute on the bottom. So once again, this whole thing is equal to the number one because it's a fraction with equal numerator and denominator. But the problem now is that we can't cancel because we've got seconds squared and seconds and they don't match each other, so they can't cancel each other. But that's an easy fix. We can just use another identical unit conversion, 60 seconds over one minute. And so that's the same number one as the other green fraction, but that allows us to cancel because this right here is seconds squared, and we're canceling it with seconds squared. So the unit that remains is miles on the top, and minutes squared on the bottom. Miles per minute squared, perfect. And this whole process guides us through whether we should be multiplying or dividing or doing both. So in the numerator, we have 7.3 times 60 times 60. And in the denominator, we have 1,609. So let's throw that into the calculator. So 7.3 times 60 times 60, that's 26,280. And we're dividing that by 1,609. So on the calculator, that comes out to 16.3 repeated, which is answer choice B in this situation.